Hello and welcome back to some Arca at Lime Rock. I'm giving this another go because it is a boatload of fun. <laughs> I really enjoy Arca and Road Course. And last time we got Chicken Streakered out of the lead. And if you haven't seen that one, um, I guess I've already spoiled it, but uh, you know, <laughs> I'd like to give it another go on camera. I actually did a second race uh, just for. You know, my own time fun, and uh, it wasn't really too competitive. It was kind of like a really late night race. There was like, I don't know, 14 people that signed up, and uh, I was like 2,000 I rating above the next guy. It was just a bunch of guys that I think probably don't do very much road racing, but wanted to do some ARCA, and uh, I kind of got pretty far ahead, and so there wasn't too much to see in that one, so... Uh, this one should be a better strength of field. Got a decent amount of people in here, although it is late at night again. And uh, I am still the number one, but uh, I imagine there's going to be some fast guys in here. So, uh, could be a fun one. I did not get much practice at a time, because I just got back from Daytona. 1987 cars. Drove that corner just a little bit. But, uh... Okay. Focus a little bit here. Be real careful at the top of the hill. All right, that's an all-time best. Sweet. Sorry, I had to focus there for a second. I <laughs> went a little bit silent. But man, this is fun. I love this. I've got uh, 8 to 1. It's my steering ratio. Getting all the turn I need. And, uh... Oof. <laughs> it's not like, you know, tires are going to be too big of a deal. The only tire I think that you might have to worry about a little bit is getting too hard on the throttle. Like that. And sliding the back tires. That was good timing for my explanation. Just pushed it a little bit too hard and uh, got sideways a bit. I'm pushing too hard trying to get an even better lap. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to happen. I got to be smooth if I want to be faster. It was a good exit, but. Not going to be better than the last lap. We'll get a little bit more practice though, because like I said, I got, just got back from Daytona 87s and uh, didn't get any more practice and it's been... I haven't done this yet today. Well, I know it sounds silly like, oh wow, we did it yesterday, so you're way out of, you're way out of practice, huh? <laughs> but, I don't know, it's got to get a good reminder. Clearly can't be doing that during the race too much, so uh, get the uh, mistakes out of the way now. Uh, just get a good reminder of what I got to do to hopefully be fast. Well, we're driving that a little bit. It's pretty optimal. I feel like I haven't quite put together a perfect lap yet. Optimal is a 52.7. Okay. Cool. I'd like to be more consistent and smooth so that way I can try to hit that time, or, you know, at least somewhat close, closer to it. Lover drove center there. Messed up my exit. I like that angle, though, heading into that corner. That feels good. So I can kind of get through there a little bit better. Feathering the throttle to get on it a little easier. Uphill portion. Can't be uh, on throttle once you get to the top of the hill, though. Because uh, you will die a horrible death if you try to go too hard from there. But uh, I'm gonna stay out here. Um, I did my lap, so it's, it's not like anyone's waiting on me, and I'd rather <laughs> be driving the track than um, just staring at a screen waiting for other people to qualify. But so far, so good. About a tenth up on the next guy. So not. Haven't uh, blown the doors off of it there. We're, we got close competition at the four. 
Uh, but we got about seven tenths to the next person. All right, I recommend I uh, I recognize Lilac from uh, Twin Ring Motegi. Right? That was Twin Ring Motegi. I was seeing their name. I think so. I've seen them a couple times in recent weeks in the Arca series. So they've got a nice uh, lap putting them P3 right now. And uh, we'll see if we can hold on to the pole. Be nice. As long as we don't get t taken out or something from behind, but who knows? Sure, who we're waiting on? Can't see it from here. As usual, I've got my all-time best lap up because a, it's fun to see if I can try to beat my all-time best, and b, it can kind of help get a gauge on how hard I'm entering the corners. If I'm overdriving the corner, I'll see a lot of green, which you would think is good, but it's not so good whenever you're ruining your exit to do it, so. Kind of gives me a good idea of my entry speed and such. I like to have that on road courses and things. Pretty much anywhere, really. There was me getting on the throttle too hard on the top of the hill. I didn't watch Gavin's race, but I did listen to it. Um, I could only listen to it, because I listen to it radio style so I was busy doing things at the time but I still wanted to listen to it and uh, I know he ended up crashed and I couldn't tell exactly where he said he was on the track but I believe oh my god that guy's fast 52 4 oh <laughs> nice win 10 holy smokes that's crazy anyway <laughs> It sounded like he might have been around the hill, so he might have been a victim of the uh, light car on the top of the hill there. Dang, that's a lap, man. We're not going to beat the tent unless they crash, <laughs> probably. I'm going to go ahead and hop out now. I'm satisfied with that qualifying run and a little bit of practice. Check a couple things out here. How about that? 52.4. That's better than my optimal by a couple tenths. Wowzers. They can just pull that out of the hat <laughs> for qualifying, huh? Yeah, so we gotta hope that they uh, go off or something, because I'm not so sure we're gonna keep up otherwise. But, uh. The end of the session. B2. Oh, here we go. Alright, I guess right when I looked, everyone finished up. Must let the run the thing. Yeah, no kidding. Nice lap. <laughs> Crazy. Maybe I'll learn something from him. One lap to green. Line up on the left side. Tight Keep bus. Right now. Do that, so that way we can get a quick repair if needed. Fast repair, whatever. I would say quick repair, but they call it fast repair, but whatever. Tomato, tomato. Uh -huh. What do you say? That's what he said. So I'm in the middle of talking, but I can do that too. Waiting on the one to grid up. Nine. Honest, I think this track should be reversed with these cars because the car actually turns left pretty good, but it don't turn right at all. Well, that'd be interesting coming out of that little road. I mean, it's almost, yeah, it would be interesting, but it would make it more fun. <laughs> and also a lot easier to drive. That'd be interesting. I think pretty well, actually, I like it. There have been some people that are like, this is horrible. Why would they do this combo? I love it. I think this is great. Yeah, the problem with this track is that, like, people don't hit the wall hard enough to die, so they just come back in and then die when they hit somebody. That doesn't sound like the track's problem. That sounds like the driver's fault. <laughs> Just more of an incentive to sort of wreck in a way. You don't get any extra car sets for this race, so let's one go. Out there. Or pole setter. The track temp is 84. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. P2. Where'd he go?
follow the pace car in the right column. Where'd the pole setter go? <laughs> Probably giving us guys a bike because he did like a second pass in all of us. He went to go change his setup and uh, didn't get back in in time. <laughs> Uh, just getting into a fixed setup race, I don't know where the fuck you went. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can change your steering ratio and whatnot. Wow. I noticed that you can get out of your car to change something while there's still time left on the timer, but if the last person joins, I guess, it's just they just go without you. You can't join. Yeah, the pulse will probably come back because everyone's right. He probably still wins somehow. I can see it. I believe that'll make you the control car now, number four. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Okay, cool. Just making sure we're all on the same page. Catch the pace car. Yeah, I'll go on green. Hey, you gotcha. All right, you're going on green. Making sure everyone knows what's happening. Yeah, that totally kind of screwed the second place uh, Not really fair. Get ready, going green. Pace car is off. Go, go, go. Green flag, green flag. Right, am I gonna get a black flag now? Man, that was weird. Didn't mean to jump him. <laughs> Start. It's like going on green. I went on green. <laughs> but I didn't get a black flag. That was kind of a weird situation. Nice one, Colton. Good start. Ooh, don't hit that curb too much. That's bad news bears. Sorry about the contact there, 11. I was already there, and I just didn't have anywhere to go. So the door bump for draft. All right, we got the seven behind us. He's well known as a very aggressive driver, so I'm either gonna get wrecked here or get dive bombed multiple times, I imagine. You know. Unless he's changed his ways, I haven't seen him for a while. No offense to him. It's just uh, my experience racing with him a lot of the time. I had a good race with him in the Dirt Road series, though, but that's obviously a whole different beast. So I think he had some trouble there. See, he's about a second behind all of a sudden. Trying to get some space. Fully expecting that uh, pole sitter, if he's still out here, to come rocketing through the field with how fast he was. So, <laughs> gotta keep an eye out for that for sure. Don't drift it through the corner now. Oh. What's happening? Uh, I'm having flashbacks. I'm having chicken streaker flashbacks. We're good though. Something happened to the aggressive guy. So that crisis has been averted. Oh man, this is so fun though. I have such a great time driving the Arca car on road. Gotta keep it steady though. No uh, mistakes. You're in the lead. Like I said, that uh, <laughs> the pole sitter might not be the last we've uh, seen of him. He could be rocketing his way through. That's gonna be a tough battle though, making it through all the passes they would need to get it done. That's that's crazy though. He gets that insane of a lap. 
maybe it's not insane. Maybe I just I haven't been in enough races to see where some of the top guys are at. But that very good lap from what I've seen, and uh, he just doesn't. He he's grids up and then he's gone. Like I don't know if he went to change his steering ratio and then get back in time, like they said, but. Man, I don't even know if I take that risk. If you're that much faster, I don't know if the steering ratio is gonna matter all that much. Oh, don't overdrive it. I keep almost overdriving it here. Too much curb, all right? Doing good though. Don't have to battle for the lead like I did last time. <laughs> Just to get chicken streakered. Right now we've already got it. Hopefully we can keep it. Although I guess we kinda made the <laughs> made the pass on the grid. At least things for that guy though. Whatever did happen. Sectors two and three are two tenths off the pace. Sector one time's okay. The guy behind has just done. I have made one change point. since my last go at this. Um, move the brake bias back just a tiny bit, just two percent uh, from the default, just to get a little bit extra turn without getting anything too crazy. I don't even know if that even makes a difference, but uh, I went with it and. Uh, Makes me feel like it's doing something. Placebo effect. <laughs> so, I guess uh, it does that at least. Push through there pretty hard, I think, once you're in third gear going around that corner, but I'm a bit of a chicken, so. Don't get everything out of it quite so much. It's mainly this corner I really like having the extra brake bias or, uh, you know, placebo bias. Feels like it turns a little bit more when I'm braking through there, and that's a good feeling. Good old placebo bias. Yeah, if you want to get past here, I won't stop. Going up the hill almost reminds me of like we'll let me go up going off a ramp and dirt road. What's that? Like not going off the ramp as hard as you can because it gets you crazy unsettled you just and let me go there? puts you in a bad spot. But kind of like yeah, just going a I little mean, easier I, over the me, over I the bump. Risk a, you know. So that way you can get on the gas and be stable as you go over the hill. And it ends up working out a little bit better if you kind of ease off a little bit at the uh, top of the yeah, man, I need the SR too. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Oh, this is so fun though. Throttle to get turned a little bit. I don't really get my best laps either, though. About a half a second off my all time best. Of course, tire wear is always going to be a thing, too. I haven't seen the uh, pole sitter's name yet. I don't even know if he's in the race, to be honest with you. I didn't see if he ever, like, started in the pits and got back out or whatever happened. This isn't guaranteed by any stretch of the imagination, though. Let me make that clear, because we got a guy behind you us. Absolute piece of garbage. Oh, he's talking about me. That's my name. <laughs> Someone's mad. Um, we got a guy, he's actually catching up to us. I better get things together, because I was about a second off. I gotta be more aggressive and taking it too easy. You're 
left off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.6. I gotta get on it, or else this guy's gonna catch me. Sector three. There's an incident in right hander. You think it might be teal? Crew chief's telling me about a thousand different ex incidents that are happening apparently. So pushing a little harder now, because the guy... Oh god, what am I coming up on? Car on your left. That Clear. kills me, man. That's a lot of lost time. Bad spot to catch him. Five. Five to go. There's an incident in Big Ben. It looks like... London Lots of people crashing, now you can hear. How about all these incidents that are going on? So I gotta push a little bit more, that's dangerous, but he's getting too close to, for comfort back there. The gap behind is now 0.9. Plus we got lap cars coming up that I gotta watch out for. Oh boy, flashbacks. War flashbacks. Like oh it's you might get caught up too in a bad spot. The guy behind us, so I watch out for that. It's hard to talk right now, I'll be honest. This is pretty intense. The guy behind's making me push. Requires some serial focus. Some frosted flakes focus. It's so serial that it's frosted flakes. And this is the point in my commentary where I start saying nonsense because <laughs> I'm so focused on driving. A little bit hard. Oh, stop it. Yep, just drifting through the corner, as one does. Now remember to breathe. It's a pretty fast road course, so you don't really get too many moments to breathe. You get like the front stretch and that's about it. Problems behind. We've pulled out a little bit more on the four. Good angle there. That. Ooh, a little wide from there. The guy behind me, uh, Saw a ball on me on that turn. Nah, you were, dude. Don't try and blame me. I mean, you, you have already lose on that. Seven causing problems. I don't blame you. Color me shocked. And then I got loose. We'll see. Too. Maybe he's right. Uh, Maybe it wasn't his fault this time. I don't know why you're trying to blame me. I mean, how we both made a mistake. Real nice work because the white. One lap to go, and we got one and a half seconds to. Give away and ruin this thing. <laughs> but let's not do that instead. Come on, Colter. One more lap. We'll keep it yeah, together. It's just we'll shitty. Always have them sooner as far as tanking too. We have a lapped car coming up. Oh my god, don't do it to me. <laughs> the guy behind is now oh, don't do it to me. Peace. 
done it. We've done it. Hooray! Alright, that one feels good. I'm still the number one, so <laughs> I uh, maybe shouldn't celebrate too hard, but that felt like I really had to work for it. Thanks, good race, and thank you to the uh, lap cars who were predictable. I really appreciate that. Just couldn't say anything at the time. Yeah, they were great. They're just getting out of the way. It's nice when they do that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I just, uh, <laughs> I was on my wheel so hard I couldn't really say thanks. I've done a road race without spinning out first. Right here. Alright. What happened to the leader? He was still in here. I wonder where he ended up finishing. Or the pole setter, rather. Well, I don't know why you're trying to blame me. I, mean, I wasn't even on your bumper when you all he drove up to seventh. Yeah. You know yeah, he was going fast. Up the hill. Wow. And then you fled, and I kind of fled with you. There's 97, 95. I'm just curious. Not sure if that's good, bad, or what, but maybe it's an intro. Maybe it's a matter after, after both dollars. We'll see what they are uh, conversing about. There's the seven taking it free wide on the start. This is what I'm talking about. This is why he gets the reputation. Sure, the four didn't get the best start, but. Because it happened to get loose. Sure, didn't hesitate. Yeah. Three has to back out. Like, I didn't, I didn't touch him before that. It kind of sucks that he's trying to blame me. Not sure, uh, four, 14. Oh, not sure what happened to the 14 there. That's the lab Yeah, one. I think he's just frustrated with being a lot star lately. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. I don't, Maybe he uh, didn't do I any practice and doesn't know the course? <laughs> Looks like he's trying to drive over here and then realizes late, like, no, don't go that way. That's weird. And then yeah, gets it's grass. Yeah, shitty deal to, like, both wreck into Oof. the same spot. Oh. They both get loose and spin into the same spot. Looks like 11 overdrives. Yeah, it was kind of a weird deal. <laughs> it's kind of shame that you guys could have done that on separate laps. And then do it fine. Huh? Yeah, I think it's because I got such a big, like, I had such a big injury. The team's uh, and having trouble. They needed some practice, I think. Made him gas it up early. Just out of fear that we were going to make contact or just being anxious or whatever. But yeah, I got him to gas up early and then he just kind of went around from there. Team has trouble. Oh, yeah, you, you were definitely scaring him. I could see that. 17 of the guys. Let's see what they're talking about here in a moment. I'm sure. Teen, it's the curb. I think this might be pretty similar to what happened to Gavin from what I've heard. Sure, sure. It's like the curb. Good rate. Good night. Gets unsettled. Yeah, you too. Fortunately, gets some damage too. Probably not too bad though. She was blinking a little bit, but he's back. Join that one in progress a bit. Ten's coming up on the 16 and maybe gets unsettled by the curb. Those curbs are getting some people. You definitely got to be off the uh, throttle a little bit if you're going to be touching the curbs for whatever reason. Not sure what happened to the 17 here. Is this after the race and he was just lapsed down? I think that might be the case. Oh, here must be the incident they're talking about. I agree with the 7. That's not on the 7 if you're going to get loose like that. Um, let's see. Let's get a little bit more context. 7 following the 6. Heading up through here. Weird. I don't even know if the 7 was trying to get under him there, if we just got a little bit unsettled. Very smooth by either of them. And then uh, that's the top of the hill that gets you. That's on the six. I mean, six gets loose. The seven's right on him. I think he tries to avoid him, but the, he go, he just ends up going the same direction. Actually, I think maybe they both got loose at the top of the hill, and they just ended up in the same spot. I mean, that's uh, the six has got to look at himself and be like, "Oh, I got loose on the top of the hill." 
and uh, the guy who was close to racing. I mean, you can't really blame the 7 on that one. So, apologies to the 7. It was not his fault, despite my initial assumption. 16. Drifting. And then, into the wall. Is that it? All right, we're pretty clean, relatively clean overall. Uh, we got ourselves the win. Uh, we were supposed to, pretty much, as the number one, but uh, I still feel pretty happy about that. Top split, uh, Arca win on the road course. Felt pretty good. We uh, probably would not have gotten the win if whatever happened to the 10 didn't happen. I don't know what happened to him still, but, I mean, look... Look at that lab, that's insane. 52-4, that's insane. My best is a 53, for reference. Like, that's almost a... That's like half a second, that's more than half a second. Faster than my best lap ever, and still three-tenths faster than my optimal? That's like... That's impressive. So, if he were out here, I think he had it easily, especially because he ended up with a 0x. He didn't even get off course. So, we lucked out a little bit. But uh, we were able to pull it off, so uh, that was a fun one. All right, Redemption, after getting chicken streakered <laughs> in the first attempt, uh, get to come back and have a fully clean race. Did I get any? I don't even think I got any incidents either. No, I didn't. All right, sweet. Stayed on the track and uh, got ourselves the W. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had some fun, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Have a good rest of your day.